Welcome back to RCR Wireless here at Mobile World Congress. I'm Lamore Schaff and with me is Flavio Fessia from Accenture. Flavio, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for you. Thank you. And you have this very sexy Google Glass that you're wearing. I like it. <laughs> you like it? You want to try them? <laughs> try them I will let you try. So tell us, what is Accenture doing with Google Glass? So for Accenture, in collaboration with uh, KPN, that's a Dutch telco client we have for our video service, we develop some application to engage the end user to use the glass while watching the TV. So you can uh, surf the TV guide, you can start watching a content uh, glass and push it on the TV, you can remotely control the TV and also be able to uh, keep watching what is on TV directly on your glass and uh, also use it as a, let's say, second screen to extend the experience while a live match is uh, running on TV to get uh, statistics, uh, information on the players or watching the highlights while the live event is running. Now why would a carrier be interested in developing something with Google Glass? So clearly the glass enables the possibility to uh, enlarge the engagement of the end user so that uh, also when uh, they are let's say busy with their hands they can actually keep watching the TV or uh, any content. Clearly the glass has a uh, let's say display that enables uh, uh, text content, video content. It's also having a camera so that you can actually take pictures, record videos, share them with your friends. Uh, thanks to the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth chipset, this can be connected online directly or through your uh, mobile devices. So there is a lot of, uh, let's say, interactivity integration in place that can uh, further engage the user. Now, is this being prototyped anywhere? Is it currently in the field? What's the feedback from the consumer? So we had a lot of uh, attention here at the Congress and a lot of people wanted to, to try the glass. They have never used those. Most of the people have been, uh, let's say, excited of it. The ability to watch a video in the glass and at the, the same time keeping your point of view anyway free is, uh, is interesting and uh, also I think will be successful. So what are the, th in terms of designing a product with Google Glass, what are some of the good things and what are the, some of the things that didn't work out so well? So about the, the good things is, things is that uh, Google provides, uh, let's say, an SDK available on top of which you can develop the application so that we can actually interact also with our uh, software platform. The other, I think that the, the other issues, uh, no more in the development but more in the usage, are related to, let's say, some performances that are not uh, still, uh, let's say, at the, val at the, at the level to, to be for the consumers in terms of the battery or also the, the part that is hitting while the CPU and the Wi-Fi is uh, going up with the uh, usage. Those, I think, are the de details that are, uh, let's say, under fine-tuning to be able also to launch commercially the device as well. So now we're here at Mobile World Congress and we are now in day two. So what have you noticed so far and what are walk-away points that you're going to take with you? As the experience of the glass, at the, at the Congress specifically? Both. Okay. Uh, right now I haven't had the chance yet to go around to uh, enjoy the Congress. I had a lot of uh, attention on the demo. A lot of people was interested in that and I, I think there's going to be a, a big future for them. So I hope it's going to be successful. <laughs> Flavio, I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you. The same for you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here at RCR Wireless. Please stay tuned for more from the show floor.